The Roosevelt Park Zoo is putting the finishing touches on a new habitat that will finally close the chapter on a larger project that started back in 2017. Haley Burchett joins us in studio with more. Haley? Good evening, Joe. Before 2019, the three species of big cats at the Roosevelt Park Zoo lived in the same location. In 2019, the lion habitat was complete, the tigers in 2020, and now it's the Amur leopard's turn. I spoke with the zoo director to get more information on how this will improve the quality of life for the animals as well as the overall guest experience. Leadership at the Roosevelt Park Zoo says training is more efficient in larger spaces and this new Amur leopard habitat guarantees safer transportation of the cats without endangering the staff. It was a stressful situation on the cats, being that close to one another, especially at feeding time. Are you excited? Zoo visitors are anxiously awaiting the completion of the project. <gasps> There's going to be leopards in here. We loved the zoo the way that it was, but this is just, it's just so much more. And the kids are really excited about it too. Right now, Clover is the only Amur leopard, but in cooperation with the Species Survival Plan breeding program, the zoo is looking to add two young leopards in the next few months. There's a steering committee that looks at the genetics of these animals. And it's kind of like uh, match.com type thing for animals. The zoo has relied heavily on community support, including several sponsors and private donors, as well as contributions from Minot Park District. A better quality of life provided with a lot of care for current and future animals. The zoo is getting ready for the Habitat's ribbon cutting this Friday. May 5th at noon. They will be kicking off their exhibit and putting on the finishing touches for the next two to four weeks. Joe? Exciting time for the zoo. Haley, thank you for that report.